This is the first of a series of videos about the forthcoming data moving plugin of the MVC console toolkit. Why data moving? Because with data moving, the user is not limited to fill input fields, but data moving controls and tools enable the user to mold and modify complex data structure by dragging and moving UI elements in a natural and user-friendly way. In this first video, we will see how the user can edit related object sets with the help of the advanced tree view of the data moving plugin. The tree view on the left contains a list of departments where each department contains teams and each team contains people. This data may come, for instance, from three different data tables related with one to many relations. As you can see, all nested lists have headers. The width of columns can be adjusted. Buttons to operate on the tree view nodes can be arranged either on the nodes themselves or in toolbars. The default buttons can be customized by providing custom images or completely substituted by custom buttons. The tree view comes with default templates whose appearance can be changed by specifying option with a fluent interface. However, the developer has the option to customize, to customize the tree view also by providing custom column templates or by providing row templates. We can also change the overall control template and transform the tree view into a completely different control. Nodes can be deleted edited and inserted. Nodes can be also moved from one father to another. As you can see, we can put a person just into another person list. As a default, nodes are accepted just among nodes of the same data type. However, this rule can be customized in several ways. All operation can be undone. The tree view on the right has a quite different appearance. No lists have no headers, and in general, the appearance is less grid-like. This result was obtained by just changing some options with no need to provide custom templates. It contains uh, a hierarchy of tasks. Each task may contain other tasks that in turn may contain other tasks and so on, till reaching lift tasks. Tasks may come, for instance, from a unique data table, having a one-to-many relation with itself. Let's add a new subtask. With another subtask inside it. And finally, with a lift task inside it.
Now let it send. The action method of the controller receives a view model containing all changes made by the user. As you can see, there are no deleted nodes, no modified nodes, but just three new inserted nodes. All nodes have no further ref, uh, have no uh, principal key. The first node has uh, uh, a further reference since uh, it was the first inserted in the tree, and his father was already in the tree. All other nodes have no father ID because the father were, were just inserted in the tree and there is no possibility to create a principal key in the browser, uh, a new identifier in the browser. But this operation needs to be done on the server. The new key method creates the needed uh, unique identifier yeah. and the standard import external uh, MC controls to kit function dispatch them where needed. When the action method is going to return, all needed reference had been filled in. As you can see, All inserted nodes now have father ID and ID. All new inserted key are sent to the client. So also on the client side, all nodes, all nodes are updated. We can assign a task to a person just by dragging it. As all other operation, also this operation can be undone. Let's redo it again and let it send. On, in the action method, we receive the view model with, with all changes. And this time, we have just modified the nodes. And in fact, the node we have sent changed because his father field has been changed with the, the unique identifier of the person we assigned the task to. All updates of this example were handled by the MVC Controls Toolkit Update Manager class. However, the tree view can send information to the server also with a standard form submit or with a simple JSON post. The data moving plugin supports completely the jQuery UI styling framework. That's all for now. Stay tuned. In a short time, a new video with new nice features.